Hey everyone, Brendan Wiltsy here. Today I'm gonna to be doing a review of the Atlas Athlete Camera Backpack. All right, so let's get into the into this review. I've been on a journey with photography backpacks for many years, and this uh, by far to date is my favorite bag that I've had. The things that I look for in a camera bag for my type of use are, it needs to be able to carry gear, camera gear, it needs to be able to carry additional gear, it needs to have uh, easy access to water, uh, the bag needs to be lightweight and it should carry weight comfortably. And for the most part, this pack checks all of those boxes, way more boxes than any other pack that I've tried or I've reviewed. And I'll leave a link uh, in the card above if you would like to check out some of my other camera bag reviews. All right, so let's break down some of the features of this pack. The first thing you'll notice is and one of the big things for me is that it has exterior water bottle pockets. For my type of use, I really prefer to use a water bottle over a hydration bladder, especially in a camera bag. And I like uh, to have that water bottle accessible on the exterior of the pack so that without fully taking the pack off, or in some cases with this pack, I don't even need to take the pack off at all. I can reach around, pop that water bottle out, take a drink, put the water bottle back in. So that is a huge thing for me. Um, on the other side of the pack, I have the, uh, my tripod set up. And so this pack really doesn't have a specific area to carry a tripod. I like it when you do have a center mount for the tripod because it keeps the weight of the pack centered. But in this case, I have the tripod in the opposite water bottle holder. The pack itself, the design is a top loading pack. So you unclip uh, the brain or the lid, fold that open, and then you have access to the interior of the pack. One of the things that really sets this pack apart is the amount of storage space you get on the inside of the pack. And that's really important for me because I'm not interested in just carrying camera gear. I need to carry all the gear that's gonna keep me safe and comfortable while I'm out in the field. And for my type of photography, hiking many miles uh, into remote locations, it's really important that I have additional gear to keep me safe. So, and th this isn't even filled completely, but this is sort of the type of stuff I would carry on uh, a summer outing uh, similar to today. So I have a, a lightweight rain shell, a down insulating puff jacket, just in case I get cold or I need to spend the night. And then I have this uh, bag here, which has all of my 10 essentials. So an emergency tarp, a first aid kit, a way to start fire, some extra food, a compass, a map, all of the things uh, that I need toiletries, sunscreen, uh, if I'm gonna spend some time out in the woods to keep myself safe. So that all fits on the inside of the pack with uh, quite a bit of room in there. I could fit a lot more gear in here if I needed to. On the front of the pack, there is a large sort of kangaroo pouch that you can jam other gear into. So this, if I start to fill up the interior, this is a great place to shove my rain jacket or if it is drizzling and I'm uh, taking that jacket on and off, that's a great spot to shove that. There's also a small pocket in the front here to, uh, to store some smaller items. Again, maybe snacks, those sorts of things that you want quickly accessible. Then we have the two large side pockets, great for holding water bottles and or a tripod. There is a pocket here on the, on the inside of this water bottle area that is uh, suitable for a hydration bladder. I like that they've put this um, sort of towards the exterior of the pack because if you do have a failure in that bladder, 
you're less likely to uh, have that water make it into the really important part of the pack, which is the camera bag. On the top of the inside of the lid, we have a pocket that's sort of more, I think of this as more of a security pocket. So for me, I often put my wallet, car keys, those sorts of things uh, in this portion of the pack. And then we have a small zippered pocket on the very top. I usually keep extra batteries in here because um, I want them, I want to know where they are and get to them quickly if I need to swap out. And then we have a very large um, top portion of the, the pack that again is great for items that you need quick access to. So I have sunglasses. Um, this is a little torch that I keep with me uh, if I need to start fire or um, light a camp stove. My headlamp, those items that I need access to quickly, uh, GoPro, I keep in this top portion of the pack. Just gonna do that out. And so that, that's all the locations that you're gonna store additional gear with this pack. And like I said, there's, there's a lot of room in here, which is really important for my type of uh, photography. If we go to the, the camera portion of the pack, this is typical of most camera bags these days, has a, a back entry uh, into the camera bag. So this one you zip and the whole back of the pack folds out, including the hip belts. Some of them uh, will only zip within the hip belt area. This one includes the full hip belt zips open. On the interior, we have uh, a pocket up here that um, I use to store memory cards because I'm always forgetting them. And so this is a great spot for me to store additional memory cards. There's then this non-zippered access pocket here. This is, if I'm carrying cables or anything like that, I usually stick those in this portion of the pack. And then we get to the interior. This pack will carry uh, quite a bit of gear. So you can see I have my Nikon Z7 with the 24 to 70 uh, 2.8 lens with the hood on in here. I have my Mavic 2 Pro drone, controller, uh, a mount for my phone that goes in the controller and two additional batteries, all for the drone uh, in this portion of the pack. What's really unique about the Atlas packs though is this upper portion here actually does sort of a, a magic trick where if you pull this, it pulls that portion out and giving you more space on the interior of the pack. So if you're you know, going longer distances, you're, you're carrying more uh, outdoor and everyday gear, you can gain yourself some storage on the inside of the pack by uh, sacrificing a little bit in the camera compartment. Then if you need to switch back to uh, carrying more camera gear, you just push that in, you get that storage space back and you're good to go. And this design I find is is really a nice balance between what you see in sort of f-stop gear packs and Shimoda's where you have these internal camera units that you have to swap out depending on what type of gear you're carrying. That's a um, very versatile design, but the disadvantages of that are, are, are twofold in my mind. One, you have to have, you have to buy multiple camera units depending on how you want to pack your bag. The other one is because those camera units are separate from the bag itself, that adds more weight to the pack. In this case, the padding and the materials and everything are integrated and that saves quite a bit of weight. And this is one of the lightest camera backpacks that is suitable for backpacking and hiking that I've found on the market. The last, the last thing I'll say about this pack, um, the zipper pulls and everything are very nice, everything operates well, is it is reasonably comfortable to carry long distances. I've used this in Hawaii, the Adirondacks, Vermont, and a lot of different locations on a lot of different types of hikes. I've used it as primarily a hiking backpack where I just carried my DSLR or my mirrorless camera, and I've used it loaded up carrying a lot of camera gear 
and even putting additional gear into the, the main portion of the pack. And it's handled all of that fairly well. It has a bit of a lumbar support here. If I had one critique of this pack, it would be, I would like to see this much larger. Again, that helps to pull the weight into your hips and transfer that weight from your shoulders onto your hips. The hip belt is very, has very reasonable amount of padding. I think it's a nice balance between the hip belt of some other camera backs like low pros that are very thin uh, and then being overly thick. It's nice uh, padded hip belt. It grabs your hips nicely. Same with the shoulder straps. Um, <clears throat> the belts and everything are reasonably sized. They're not overdone. Uh, they save on weight and they get the job done. And I like hip belts that have the, the tensioner on the belt itself rather than the buckle. This makes it really easy to pull the tension from both sides uh, to, get, to get the appropriate tension on your hip belt. The one last thing that I, that I forgot to mention here as I'm going through this is there are side pockets on this pack and they're sort of a unique design. You open the little pocket and then you pull out this bag that is quite substantial. And one of the ideas behind this uh, from the Atlas engineers is that this is big enough to, to put a lens in. So if you're, you're sort of running and gunning and, and moving between a lot of different locations, and you want to throw in an additional lens and swap lenses out, uh, these pockets are big enough to accommodate most lenses. Uh, that also, though, can be used to carry a water bottle, snacks, you know, anything like that. The only downside is these do not cinch up, and so whatever is in here isn't going to be completely secured. The other downside is the zippered pocket that these come out of really isn't accessible when this is open, and obviously it's not usable when this is in there. If I, another critique I would, have, I would have is, I would have liked to see one of these two pockets on either side, uh, just a regular old zipper pocket, something that's suitable to put a cell phone uh, so, or a granola bar or a goo packet or something you know, in there so you can have quick access to some calories and some nutrition or other essential items. So overall, I am really happy with this bag. Uh, I, this is my go-to bag for every outing. E even hiking, there's few instances where I switch back over to a traditional hiking bag because it's not often that I'm not heading out with some sort of camera equipment. The only time that I can't use this bag is if I'm going on longer outings in the winter. It's just not quite large enough. For that, if, if I wanted to get another Atlas pack, they have the Atlas Adventure pack that is uh, sort of the next size up from this pack, and that would be perfectly suitable for winter day hikes, sunrise, sunset shoots, as well as backpacking overnight. I think you could do an overnight with this pack um, during the summer if you're, if you're sort of fast and light, but if you're gonna be going multiple days and you're carrying a little more gear, you're probably gonna wanna size up to the next pack. So that's my review of the Atlas Athlete Photography Pack. It is my favorite photography backpack. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, please hit the like button down below. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe. Until then, I'll catch you next time.